wondered what the criteria was when National Weather Service says, hey, we're going to issue a winter weather advisory versus a winter storm warning. And really, what's the differential between those two? Because it does matter all across the country. There's different thresholds as to what some places deem as a lot of snow that's going to cause a lot of issues versus others, especially when you look farther to the south, where it maybe only takes an inch or two to potentially get that winter storm warning to be issued. So let's talk about here closer to home and let's zoom in on Ohio here. You'll notice a lot of purple that for us indicates you need at least six inches of snow to fall across our entire viewing area for a winter storm warning to really meet that kind of criteria. If it's less than that and it's still going to cause a lot of issues, that's likely when you're going to start to see those winter weather advisories coming into effect, which for a lot of us, that's a bit more common here across Northeast Ohio. You go up to Michigan and look at how much that criteria starts to increase. So again, it all depends on where you're at here across the country. But in terms of the event that we're talking about going into the weekend, we have winter weather advisories. We have winter storm warnings that are in effect. That winter weather advisory criteria means you need at least four inches of snow. And then there is some kind of accumulation in terms of freezing rain. If we were talking about that kind of setup, those thresholds that you would need to meet as well. Really any high impact snow or ice event, you're likely at least going to get a winter storm or a winter weather advisory. Winter storm warning, we already mentioned you need six inches of snow or more. If you're talking about a freezing rain type of setup, you would need about a quarter of an inch or more of that ice glaze to accumulate on our area. For us, temperatures are well below freezing, so we are talking about that snow type of criteria. So it may have you wondering. We've talked about how we have the snow coming into the forecast. We also have a lot of wind in the forecast as well, and we're going to be reducing visibility. So why not have that blizzard warning in effect? Well, we're not going to meet some of the criteria here. Yes, could we have visibility below a quarter of a mile at times? Absolutely especially given that this is going to be a light fluffy snow. You don't need much wind for it to get blowing around and causing some drifting concerns, but you also need winds that would be greater than 35 miles per hour sustained. That doesn't include gusts. That's a sustained wind gust. So because we're not meeting that kind of criteria, that's why we're only dealing with winter storm warnings. Now, one other thing to note, and we may see some of these issued lake effect snow warnings. That just means we're talking in terms of lake effect snow, six inches of, or more that would be possible for that to be issued. You might see some snow squall warnings issued as well. Again, that's just a result of the reduced visibility across our area. Regardless, anytime we have these winter weather headlines issued, use caution if you do have to be out on the roadways. If you can delay being out there, that's honestly probably one of the best situations. But again, six inches of snow, that's what'll get you that winter storm warning, winter weather advisory, at least four inches. Now